I'd been working in the arts sector for a number of years and I decided that I wanted to further my career by gaining a qualification in project management. So I originally came to Sprue to do the MSc in innovation and project management. And when I arrived, I was completely inspired by all the amazing work that goes on here. And so when I finished my masters, I decided this is where I want to be. I want to be sort of where the action is, where people are doing this research that has real, real world policy impact. And I guess I just really want to be a part of that. I remember before, before I started, um, someone telling me that at the beginning of the course, your supervisors know more than you about your topic, but very quickly you become really specialised in your tiny, tiny niche. And that sort of shift between teacher and pupil relationship to more of a sort of peer-to-peer -peer colleague type relationship over the course of the PhD, I think is really lovely. Because Sprue is such a broad church, um, there are multiple different research projects, really large scale research projects going on at the same time. And also being able to sort of translate my research, my findings and my questions to real world scenarios has been really, really invaluable for me. There's also opportunities to teach. So I've been teaching for the last couple of years. I know a lot of my fellow PhD students have also been teaching and really value the opportunity to do that in such a kind of supportive environment. Before starting my PhD, I was very nervous. I didn't really know what to expect. And when I first arrived on my first day, we had welcome session and afterwards, everyone in my cohort went out for a drink. And I feel as though that really set the tone for the rest of my time here at Sprue. The creative industries are increasingly important globally and they're one of the fastest growing sectors of the UK economy. So my research is really adding to this growing body of research which looks at how the creative in industries can be fostered, can be encouraged and what the impact of the creative industries are on regions, on economies, on society. And that really sort of fits in with um, the research agenda that's been um, really championed here at Sprue, looking at these this fusion within the creative industries and also within this sort of larger policy agenda, looking at how can we support the types of skills that are needed to really promote the creative industries and to sustain the high levels of growth that we've seen of the creative industries over the past few years. Throughout my studies, I've been employed as a research assistant in various different roles, actually. There's almost always some kind of research assistant vacancy going on just because of the amount of research that is conducted at Spru. I really feel connected to a whole range of policy makers and academics working in this topic that I never would have met if I hadn't have been at Spru. I think the skills that I've developed not only in research but in how to translate my research to different audiences has been incredibly helpful. Before I started, I, I was very nervous that I wouldn't be able to do it. But I guess what I found was that that doesn't matter because the topic is something that I'm passionate about and the support from fellow PhD students who are going through the same thing. So being with such a group of, of sort of warm and open people, we do talk about the difficulties of doing a PhD as well as the great parts of it um, has been really comforting. My supervisors have been fantastic. Um, they're really, really supportive, really enthusiastic. Um, they give me really great feedback. We, we are colleagues um, and they, they really want to sort of promote my work and to help with my professional development. When I finished my PhD, I think I'd like to stay in academia. Being at Spru has given me such a grounding in how research can be directly targeted towards policy. And, and not only that, just the networks of people that I have met through being here. I really feel connected to a whole range of policy makers and academics working in this topic that I never would have met if I hadn't have been at Spru.